Yeah, this demo here is uh, to demonstrate some of the uh, features found in the EFI Live Scan Tool software. We're looking at a recording, a recording I did not make. Um, it's one that just comes with the application. Uh, and there are two recordings, same vehicle, and the indications are that one of them is a zero to, it's a wide open throttle run with the traction control on and one with off. So this one here has the traction control system off. Well, the nice thing about this is that you can zoom in and out. You can look at all of the, the entire recording here. You can zoom in on your your subject a little further by just high, left clicking highlighting and, um, and, and clicking selected. Uh, as you move your cursor around, you can see all the data. But if you notice the uh, when I highlighted an area, it instantly gives you the average for that highlighted area for each of the parameters. So pretty cool. But I also wanted to show you the 0 to 60 times. So if I click here, that's 0 in the next next frame, you know, the, the throttle starts to move. So we'll call that 0. And then I'm going to left click and drag over to when I get to 60 miles an hour here over in the right upper corner. You see the zero, the 60, and if I look down here, it'll show me the elapsed time, 5.490. So I have another instance of this application running with the other recording, and here I'm going to click and left drag up to 60 miles an hour, and you'll see five and a half seconds uh, time elapsed. You'll notice also the TP goes wide up and throttle. Um, you'll notice that in this area here, Spark Advance, you'll see some management on Spark Advance. The ECU is trying to use some Spark control to limit torque, wheel slippage. You'll see the slippage going on here and uh, backs it up. So the 0 to 60 time uh, was longer, if I'm correct there, you know, 490 versus the 551 so pretty cool I also you can see the slippage here but the cool thing about these parameters and these scalings uh, you can adjust the resolution um, on the readings you can click uh, chart properties pick your parameter so vehicle speed sensor say I wanted to go to 70 uh, I can do that and click OK. If I wanted to add a decimal to that, I could do the same. If I go back to that series here, and over here on the right, I need to change that to 1. And then it'll show me the example here. Click OK. And so now I can see my decimal point. If I want more decimal points, you can change those out. So, pretty cool feature. There are some other advanced features. There are some maps that you can build. You can build uh, custom parameters uh, to do math against each other, or math against a, uh, a fixed value or a constant, um, and so on. And I'll plan on doing those. This is uh, simply just a test of this uh, Jing uh, application with the uh, automatic embedded YouTube or automatically uploaded YouTube uh, deal. So you'll also see the uh, see the duty cycle here on the injectors. You'll see the fuel trim values here. Again, it's pretty cool. Uh, if I go back out to all, you see after the run here, you see there went back into closed loop. And if you highlight across there, you can see what the average O2 values are: 391, 442. You can see our fuel trim starting to work again. So that's it for now. We'll talk to you soon.